So Jesse, I, I think, well, it all starts with, with creating systems in your business. I don't care if you're a freelancer, but working by yourself, if you have a team of 10, if you have a team of 100, it's always going to be crucial when you're building your business to document your entire process. So write all the steps of everything you do. Oh, you're, cre- you're adding analytics to a site. Step one, go to google.com forward slash analytics. Step two, click sign in, like literally document it so that you can give this sheet of paper to anyone and they can execute at a high level. Um, so, so that's the kind of first part of, uh, of creating digital products and productizing your business. So now that you've created these systems internally, now you can basically package those and sell those to other freelancers and other agencies in your space. So in my example, let's uh, for the Web Design and Studio Accelerator course, right? I said, okay, we already have all these systems in place. We have all the documentation. We have all the Figma files. Why don't we just package this into a course and then just sell it to other agency owners? And I did that, packaged it, and then started to create a community and sold that to other agency owners. Now, that did, that did a couple of things. One, it creates a consistent revenue stream that we can not necessarily rely on, but we know is consistently coming in every month if we spend a certain X amount of dollars in ads to promote that. And that's the only thing that I run ads on. Our agency, we, we, we're pretty much referral based. So now I'm creating that recurring income. Now, when I go back to my agency, in regards to customers that we're bringing in and, and talking to, we can increase our price point to get higher quality leads and clients because we're making enough money from this other revenue stream where we can be more selective with the clients we take on. So a lot of freelancers, agency owners, they might take on a project where it's like, hey, I'm going to charge a client 15. And they come back and like, well, I only have 7,500. Now you're thinking, OK, I can either take this 7,500 or I can take zero and then go to the next project. So you take that 7,500 and now this client is like digging into you for the project. You're losing hours. You're losing time. You're compensating your team. And now you come up out you come out of it, you know, losing money as opposed to waiting for the next project. But you're thinking, I have this money on the table. I need to take it right now. If you have an additional revenue stream or something else kind of taking care of that, you can say, you know what, let's skip this one and move on and, and book another project that's twice as big. Now we're making twice the money for less the, for 50% of the work. It's the, um, the supermarket syndrome, right? Like if you go to the supermarket starving, you fill your cart up with a bunch of junk you don't actually want or need. But if you go and you're already kind of satiated, you're already full, you're like, I can be really picky. Like maybe we'll get those. We'll yeah. get less. We'll <laughs> spend a little bit more on this nice cheese versus exactly. that big bro- block of cheese over there because I need more because I'm real hungry. Exactly. It's that feast or famine mentality. It's amazing how when you talk about like revenue streams, it's not like when I say like, Take, I'm going to say take back kind of the seat of power. It's not in like this mean, manipulative way. But as a business, you then have the ability to, from more of a seat of power, because you have other revenue coming in, say, we don't need that project. We're not starving for that project. I like that client. I like that project. I like your, maybe your cause or your mission even. I mean, I've, I've had the opportunity even to do like pro bono work because I'm like, I believe... Exactly in your mission and your exactly. and your vision and direction like i don't need your money like i would love to work on this a little bit like let me see what i can do and we have that wiggle room for personal satisfaction and balance in our lives right? exactly. because of the work that we've done building other revenue streams that's amazing